Hi everyone, so this resource includes maps of East and Southeast Asia. Um, so when you open Google Slides, if you wanna see the maps a little bit bigger, you just need to click on the present button. So the first map we have, the first set of maps are for East Asia. Um, so this map right here is the political map of East Asia. So this map shows us the countries that are included in the region of East Asia. So we have Mongolia, China, North and South Korea, Japan, and Taiwan. The next map is a physical map of East Asia. So a physical map shows us the physical features and landforms. Um, so we can see that these blue squiggly lines are representing rivers. We see some mountains labeled, plateau, and then the key shows the elevations. So the highest elevations are in red. Those are gonna be like high ground mountains. We can see that the mountains are in the darker colors. And then the green is at zero feet. So that's at sea level. The next map is the population density map of East Asia. So here, um, the purple and red colors are where there is higher population density. So there are more people there, it's more crowded and the lightest yellow colors um, are the least crowded. And so if we go back and forth between, let's say the physical map and the population density map, we can kind of see why. For example, here um, we have a desert. So if we go to the population density map, we're gonna see a lower population density in that region. And then the last map for East Asia is the climate map. Um, the key is color coded, and so each color represents a climate. So this section right here is in this lighter green. Um, so this is a humid subtropical climate. And same thing as before, um, we can make inferences about population distribution switching back and forth between these maps, right? We can see the type of climates that maybe a lot of people want to live in as well as the climates that not so many people want to live in. The next set of maps is for Southeast Asia and it follows the same pattern. So we have the political map, the physical map, population density map, and the climate map for Southeast Asia. So even though these both reg regions, East and Southeast Asia, we're gonna be learning about at the same time, um, these maps have them separated so that you could get a clearer idea.